Good morning, Redeeming Grace. It is a blessing. Thank you. It's a blessing to be with you here this morning. Um, as I started the process of church hunting and prayed for direction, a verse my pastor back home in Puerto Rico repeated endlessly came to my mind. It says, Psalm 133, 1, how wonderful and how pleasant it is when brothers live together in harmony. Back home, church was family. And here in Virginia, for the first time in my life, I found myself without one. The busy, efficiency-focused culture made the church hunting process an exhausting one for me. I had heard a lot about Redeeming Grace through Hannah Hakes from International Friends. I work with her. In a short visit to Virginia in the summer, I decided to just step in and come. That was the day you were all premiering the new name and logo. It was a great service. But what I remember the most that day, I must say, was Tim and Kelly at the Welcome Center. They smiled, learned my name, answered my questions without any hurry. And the Girardelli chocolate Kelly replaced that day instead of mint. Excellent choice, Kelly, wherever she's at. Every time I step through those main doors, Tim and Kelly make the effort of recognizing me by name, and I thank you for that. For a couple of Sundays, the pastors talked as a church, making an effort to step out of our comfort zone and greet those around us we didn't know. Those two Sundays, I met David and his family, I met Loris and her family, I met Carol, and a lot of other people. Later on, uh, they invited me, their warm welcome, polite conversation, and they extended an invitation to various events the church was having. Those made a difference. Later on, we participated in the Explore class, got to meet more people and exchange our stories. Nancy sat at our table with Joyce. Joyce, I'm not sure she's here. She's another friend of mine that came with me. Um, and she really took an interest in us because we are Penn Staters. Of course. <laughs> she listened, engaged, and shared. And then Cristo was amazed at my last name. It's a pretty long one. While I was questioning his first name, and then the women's Bible study, uh, the testimony of Christ's work and the ladies and how openly they shared their life, it really still humbles me. All this to say, God is at work in this church and his people. I am excited to be here because of you people. Although I don't know most of you, I have seen and experienced a little of the fruits of your labor. I see a multi-generational church lifting their hands in praise. I see children laughing. I see teens worshiping and lifting their hands freely. Elders leading and teaching with wisdom. Women sharing their lives and stories. Because of my experience, I have the assurance that I can bring international students with me and they will be welcomed, loved, and cared for. They will hear the gospel and will experience the wonder, a taste of heaven, as brothers and sisters worship harmoniously the one true God. I am thrilled to be here in the year where as a church, we sharpen our focus on mission. I am happy to be part of a church that worships God in spirit and truth, where the word of God is not compromised by the ways of the world, and where people are challenged to be disciple-making disciples. I am grateful to be here, and I look forward to serving alongside you for the glory of Christ. Thank you.